is a modern version of one of the oldest trades in the world. Hey Sharks, does this look familiar to you? Have you noticed that when you buy spices at the supermarket, they don't have much flavor? Gross. I'm Ethan, chef turned aid worker from New York City. And I'm Ori, a marketing executive turned entrepreneur, born in Israel and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. And we're, we're the, the co-founders co of... <laughs> Burlap <laughs> and Barrel. <laughs> Burlap and Barrel is a single origin spice company and social enterprise working directly with the best spice farmers around the world to get you spices that are way better than anything you've ever tasted. We're talking heirloom royal cinnamon from the mountains of Vietnam <laughs> and spicy, lemony Zanzibar black peppercorns that grow wild on remote islands off the east coast of Africa. We're taking on centuries-old systems that disconnect spice farmers from home cooks. And by bypassing layers of middlemen, our partner farmers make more money, and you get spices that are fresher, higher quality, and traceable back to origin. By sourcing directly, we're able to pay our partner farmers a price that helps support their livelihood, and we're able to get spices that have never ever been available before in the US. Our spices are guaranteed to be your new secret ingredients in the kitchen. We're looking for $500,000 in exchange for 5% of our company. So Sharks, are you ready to spice things up in the kitchen with burlap and barrel? <laughs> now Sharks, in front of you, you'll see four of our best selling spices. So please pick up the jars, pick up the bowls, give everything a good sniff, take a little pinch in your fingers or use the spoon to actually taste the spices themselves. Uh, royal cinnamon, a, a very rare heirloom species of cinnamon from Vietnam, super sweet and spicy. It almost mm. doesn't even taste wow. like conventional cinnamon. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, exactly. it's like incomparable. Yeah, it's thank really you. good. Next is our black lime. These are sun-dried limes from Guatemala that turn black as they dry and then they're ground into a powder. Super um, unusual. Great in a marinade. Yeah, great in a marinade. Mm. Really, really distinctive flavor. I really flavor. actually like this. It's yeah. very unusual. And then next is our wild cumin, hand-picked, foraged in the mountains of northeastern Afghanistan. Um, wow, is that I, strong? Ooh. I lived there for a couple of years wow. and this was really the spice that started the company. And Not then, eating the peppercorn. Uh, go for it. It's very hot. I don't know. I ate one. It's you it's, did? It's excellent. How many spices in your portfolio? Uh, we have about 75 individual spices. Are you online only? We're 85% direct to consumer, and the other 15% is split as a wholesale between bulk restaurant and grocery. Tell us about you. I mean, what got sure. you to be the spice men? We've been friends for over 15 yeah. years with Ethan's culinary background. I was the eating side of the relationship. Whenever he was <laughs> cooking, I wanted to be hanging out there and eating, and we really built a strong friendship over that. I left kitchens to go to graduate school. I got a master's degree in international development, uh, moved to Afghanistan, where I worked for one of the biggest nonprofits in the world, managing doing a what? huge- Doing what? were you doing? I was building over 200 schools in very remote rural areas. I did logistics for Doctors Without Borders, um, but I tasted that cumin that you have on the table in front of you. And Ethan's um, being modest. You're talking to one of the foremost experts in spices in the world. Very few people have been to even a fraction of the number of spice farms that he's been to. So Ethan, you were in Afghanistan. Yeah. Take me through what happened next. You went back to New York with some I put cumin? it in a duffel bag, yeah. Really? <laughs> I started carrying it home, truly. I was just sharing it with friends in the restaurant industry, and the response was overwhelming. And so I just started trying to put the pieces together. Out of your apartment in New York? Yeah, exactly. We, we ran the business out of my living room. We've been in business six years, so we've evolved quite a bit since then. So now it's time to tell us about the business yes. and the numbers. Give us a range of costs and what your margins are and your total sales, et cetera. So our spices, typically they retail for $9.99. Our landed cost is $2.50. So we have on average a 75% margin on it. And lifetime we've done $12 million worth of revenue. Can you walk us through those six years so we can see the sales ramp? So our first year, we did $100,000 in revenue. What year was that? 2017. That was 2017. 2018, we grew to $250,000 in sales. 2019, we did $600,000 in sales. Yeah. And 2020, in the pandemic, we ended up closing the year at $3 million worth wow. of sales. A lot of people cooked, didn't they? 2021, we closed the year at $5.1 million in sales. Wow. And what about this year? What are you on this track? This year we're on track to do between six and seven million dollars worth of revenue. Good for you. Wow. How much are you going to make on that? Bottom line is around 10% is our net so margin. $690,000? Yeah. Hey guys, what you accomplished is amazing. Unfortunately, this is just not a business I know even a tiny bit about. To, to me, ketchup is the ultimate spice. You know, <laughs> I, I just don't know. So for those reasons, I'm out.
Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Listen, guys, it tastes great. I think it does taste stronger. I also think it's a really crowded space. There are so many spices out there. I like so much to be involved with things that are a little bit more unique. So while I'll be a customer, I'm not going to be an investor. I'm sorry, I'm out. Got it, thank you. Right. We really appreciate it. I wish it. you had come in and asked for 250,000. And we could have negotiated you up a little bit, but the valuation is crazy. I'm out. You know, for somebody who loves to cook, just the difference in the spices, you know, it's like a cacophony, like fireworks in your mouth. And when you're using beautiful ingredients like this, it's so easy to make food that's much, much healthier because mm -hmm. the quality is so fantastic. I'm a little surprised that I've never heard of the brand before, which gives me a bit of pause because I'm very active in, in the space, which makes me wonder if you're really gonna be able to proliferate the, the market. So I don't know if it can grow at the speed that I would like it to. I think, you know, for those reasons, I'm out. But I do really love what you're doing. You're breaking I admire. Your heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. What are you thinking, Mr. Wonderful? Well, I'm struggling with it because 500K is huge and I don't see the path to getting it back. Plus, I don't send 500,000 out just to get it back. Sure. I mm -hmm. want a multiple of it. We came here with an idea for you. Okay. Okay? Wow. Let's hear it. We do royalty deals on a regular basis. When we do a collaboration blend with a chef or a, uh, an artist or an influencer, uh, we found that to be a, a very effective customer what acquisition strategy. You give? We give a standard 20% on an 1199 retail product. So that's $2.39 per unit sold. I'll tell you, I'll make you an offer, okay? While we're talking about this. I'll give you $500,000 for a $2.30 royalty on an order. Um, what we'd really like to do is a Mr. Wonderful set of spices. Oh, that's a different deal. Oh, let, let so me, then you'd only get it on that? We'd get the royalty on that jar, but you'll still get oh, it back. Oh, not all the jars, just on your new specialty oh, jar. I'm not going to do that deal. Are you kidding? I'll never get my money back. <laughs> you'll get it back. No, no. <laughs> You're look, not I banking mean, that, on you? <laughs> that, that makes no sense. So, Kevin, what are you offering? I'll offer you $500,000 for 10% equity, and I want a 20% royalty on everything until I get back a million bucks. Then That's it goes quite away. Different. Hello. Listen, it's an so offer, Mark. There's your offer, guys. What do you want to do? We have a counter offer. Sure. <laughs> Um, we would do 20% royalty on a Mr. Wonderful branded line of spices and, and count on you to help promote them. We would do a 10% affiliate cut on everything that you drive to us. And we would do 5% equity for $500,000. Okay, there's no way I'm doing that deal. I'm out. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thanks, guys. Good Thank luck. you, guys. Thank, Thank you for the spices. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Sharks are gonna regret it. They put a fire under us and we are just gonna go even harder to get even bigger, even faster.